All right, video five, episode five, if you want to call it that, uh, of the uh, Mill Road uh, Farmhouse, Victorian Farmhouse. It's got its uh, coming into its own identity now. So let's go inside. We uh, started doing some trim, and uh, I think in about two weeks, we'll have uh, cabinets installed and painting completed and into refinishing of some floors. So in the foyer here, we've got the trimmers hard at work. We've got a nice... Uh, Got a nice detail here. It's called a Windsor detail. Get a little closer there. You can see our windows. Got a proper apron, a proper sill. Nice three and a half inch. Uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a nice profile. So a little putty, a little paint. Make the uh, trim job what it ain't. And uh, it's still got to get crown molding around there. Staircase trim looks good. All the, uh, we went ahead and used the uh, plinth blocks on uh, all the basements. I mean basements, I'm sorry. <laughs> all the baseboard where it meets the standing casing. Let's go upstairs. Here's a peek of this room. Looks really nice. Really nice. Five and a quarter inch base. Uh, going up. We got somebody in here dusting down right now. Uh, we'll finalize the trim and then, uh, oh, let's take a peek of the uh, bathroom. Shower Showers look nice. That's the... Hall bath, tile looks sweet. This gets a wall-to-wall -wall vanity here. Uh, casings are done around the window. Bip down the hallway. Again, the reason we use the plinth block, which is a, you know, a uh, architectural detail in a lot of formal settings, we're gonna have these floors sanded down in the hallway and in, on the main uh, living area. And it's just gonna make it so much easier as well for the, the guy to sand up against that block as opposed to sanding against this very difficult detail. And I just think he's gonna butcher it up if we didn't do that. So I went with a plinth block throughout. I think it gives it another level of class, right? Windows here, all complete. Base, the closets are all trimmed out. We didn't choose to do plinth blocks in the bedrooms, less formal area. Carpet's gonna be in these rooms here. Upstairs, the uh, Carpets are going to get, uh, the treads are going to get carpet. Uh, we extended the uh, stringer out. That'll get a piece of cap molding there. This is just pieced in, glued and screwed and nailed. That gets carpet wrapped around it. We chose to uh, go with a, uh, a solid piece of wood here. That, that'll get a little sheetrock patch there. And then we cased it. Didn't, couldn't really come up with a whole lot of ideas, but I think that looks fine. Let's go upstairs. We did some modifications up here. We added this access door for the heater uh, up here. And I'll be building a, a custom made door in my shop, which will be fun, a four panel door. I just gotta find some stable wood to build it out of because everything is loaded with moisture and this is gonna be one of the warmest areas of the house and I don't want it to dry out and cup and warp. Bedroom came out nice. We're gonna go ahead and uh, make an access here for all the space we have beyond the, uh, the attic. Came out nice. This little area here, a little whimsical, quiet area there out front. This gets a stair cap, a wall, a knee, knee wall cap. Uh, lots of room here to service the heater. And uh, back, back down. And that's it. That's a short update. Not a whole lot of. Oh, I mean, I don't know if you saw the kitchen floor. Let's go. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. I'm forgetting the master bath. So the master bath floor tile is in. The uh, shower pan floor is in. It's not grouted yet. We're going to do oil rub bronze uh, uh, trim for the fixtures. This has to be floated yet. The uh, vanity, we're gonna pull it off the wall this way. It's gonna be six foot. And then our walk-in closet came out nice. Nice details there. And let's go check out the kitchen. Kitchen floor is almost done. Not complete, but almost. Back down. We gotta do a plinth block. That's just sitting there, but that'll be a plinth block there. And then we'll roll a piece of trim all the way down the stairs. I'll be uh, taking these balustrade myself and cleaning it up and tightening it up and uh, should look pretty dandy. Kitchen floor, we got a plank here so we don't mess the floor up but looking really nice. It's a 
black slate like floor. And then we got a foundry room back here, which is uh, waiting to get some baseboard, but it's, it's coming together. So just a uh, quick update on the uh, Mill Road Farmhouse. This is Brad T. Presents, and uh, talk to you soon. Hope you're enjoying it. Thanks.